For the Stan Winston School of Character Arts, I'm Shannon Shea, and this is Garage Monsters. The storyboard shows a sequence of caves with Gekaniki's launching arrows and spears that are protagonist. What I find useful is to think of these pieces or elements as layers. So let's separate them from the back to the front. Okay? So now, let's get rid of the cave. Once your creature is designed, it's good to determine a scale for them. I mean, I'm gonna build mine about 19 inches tall. And the reason I go with something that tall is because I don't want my miniature sets and everything to get too big, so it's a nice manageable size. It's good to take a piece of tracing paper and put it over your drawing to build a blueprint like this. This will help you design the armature that's gonna go inside of your puppet. I'm gonna screw one of the eye hooks. But we're going to open the eye hook with a pair of needle nose pliers, like this. And we can take that and attach it to our shoulder, like so. And then close it up with a pair of pliers. So we can repeat that process with the, with the shoulders, uh, the upper arms, and the upper legs. Again, if you're gonna have a costumed figure, I'm making a lizard creature right now, but if you're making a human figure that you know you're gonna wardrobe later, you don't have to go to a really refined, these refined shapes. But I know that I'm gonna have a lot of lizard skin showing, so I need to refine these shapes. So I'm gonna move from a big pair of scissors like this to a smaller pair of scissors like these little cuticle scissors that you can get from a, a drugstore. Alcohol on a paintbrush, and I'm just cleaning up some of this, of these inconsistencies in the Sculpey, and also using the power of the alcohol to define some of these more delicate shapes. Obviously, the more time you spend refining these shapes, the better they're gonna be. Don't be afraid, after the, after the alcohol evaporates, you can always go back in and add more Sculpey. I'm gonna film this puppet many times with different weapons and doing different things, and I'm gonna have a whole tribe of lizard guys, all for a fraction of the cost of Avatar.